Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So after unboxing this M5 Stick C finger computer, I wanted to check out some other products from the M5 Stack product line. Today we're going to get started with the Atom Matrix from M5 Stack. So you're going to want to go into the software section, into the downloads, get the UI Flow desktop, the M5 burner, and if you need that CP driver, get that as well. Of course, I've downloaded everything, and I'm just going to unzip the UI Flow Desktop IDE to my C drive, and we're going to launch it from there. I like to launch it as administrator in this case. It gets past a couple of hurdles that way. So when you first start to work with the Atom Matrix or Atom Lite, you're going to want to burn the new UI Flow firmware onto the device. So once we connect up to our Atom Matrix on our COM port, we're going to open up the firmware burner. Now in the firmware burner, you can also flash your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password onto the device in case you want to access it over the Wi-Fi. So here I've selected the Atom, and then I'm going to select the correct version of UI flow for my Atom, the Matrix version. You see I already have it downloaded, so I can just press the burn button. But first, let's go ahead and erase the device. If you get access denied on the COM port that the Atom is plugged into, just unplug the USB connector from the Atom and plug it back in. Here you can see we've successfully erased our Atom matrix. So now we're going to flash the UI Flow firmware onto the Atom matrix. This takes a few minutes, we'll crop it out. So now it's time to connect to our Atom Matrix in UI Flow. You can see UI Flow has detected the device on the serial port, but to actually connect your Atom Matrix in UI Flow, you want to unplug the USB connector from the Atom Matrix, hold down the main button, which is the LED display on the front, while you plug that USB connector back in. Hold that button down until the LED panel cycles to blue and then release it. And now you can see when you refresh it, your Atom Matrix is connected in UI Flow. So let's check out all the programming options in this UI Flow. Here you can see events, including your main loop. You can access the LED panel here. You have your motion sensor. There's your basic setup. You can create variables here. Lots of math functionality various other loops, including the opportunity to break out of a loop. Of course, there's the main loop. Plenty of logic functions. Timers. Of course, you can call a function within a program. Various text handling capabilities. You can see this is a pretty complete programming IDE here, considering that it's blocky. Lists. Creating maps reading and writing JSON files, and then we get into advanced features. Analog and digital pin reads, setting pins, PMW functions, here's power management, here's some digital waveform thing, that's interesting. Here's your serial port. Boy, the list just keeps going on here. There's I to C, whatever execute code is. Apparently you can embed code into your uh, blocky Python program. Wi-Fi network. Here's something to go in depth on all by itself, ESP now. Basic message queuing functionality. Publish messages and subscribe to messages. So your devices could talk to each other essentially. HTTP functionality. This is pretty phenomenal. And the ability to extend the code through customization. So I'm going to go ahead and make a simple program just to light up the LEDs on this matrix panel here. Let's go with the color red. 
We'll put a timer in here to wait one second. And then I'll continue to build that and we'll wind up with this program here with several different screens displayed on the Atom Matrix. Let's check out the Python version of the code here. And let's go ahead and hit run. Let's see what happens. It says the code is executed successfully. We can even upload it to the Atom Matrix. The upload is successful. So here's the LED panel on the Atom Matrix following this simple code here. So the M5 stack Atom Matrix and its sibling, the Atom Light, with only a single RGB LED under the main button, have a lot of potential revealed within this UIFlow desktop IDE software. So I hope you get to check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.